Hello, and welcome back to another posh hotel room. Not quite as posh as the one that was in the last video, granted, the penthouse in Whistler, once again, thank you Jordan for arranging that, was incredible. However, we've flown from Canada, back home for about 10 hours, repacked, washed my pants, got on another plane and flown all the way over to Budapest in Hungary for the launch, the first drive of the new McLaren 600 LT. However, that's happening tomorrow. So today I'm in Budapest. The last time I came here was with Gumball 3000. I was here for one day and I always wanted to come back. I never knew when I would. Lo and behold, McLaren is doing their launch at the Hungara ring. But since I got a few hours to kill, what better way than to cruise around town in a mini hot rod. Now, of course, I'm not gonna do this on my own. Now, I'm looking for room five to, by the way, look how amazing this hotel is. Look at this. Massive internal atrium. We're actually staying at the Ritz in Budapest. It's phenomenal. But yes, like I said, I'm not going to go and tour Budapest on my own. So I'm looking for room 522 because a friend will be joining me who we haven't seen on the channel in a little while. In fact, a lot of you were asking about it. So who's behind door 522? Oh, I have no idea you were coming. <laughs> Dude! Look who it is! Good to man. see you! How's things? So, so, I bucked us something. I know. You told me. I'm excited. Mini hot rods, dude. Mini hot rods. I Mini don't know hot rods. I did that with We're going to do that. We're going to tour Budapest in shrunk down hot rods. As you do. You know, when you've got a few hours to kill. Yeah, you just do that. <laughs> we need to go pretty soon because we've got the McLaren dinners at 7. Nice new watch, by the way. Oh, so we're going to have to hit it. Alright. Let's do it. We're Okay, so we have arrived, just arrived at Mini Hot Rod Budapest. Now, Parker just mentioned something quite interesting, that we are so fortunate to travel the world driving some of the world's best supercars. And yet today, we are absolutely giddy about driving these things. Now normally, I would have rehearsed and digested the specs and features of a car off by heart before presenting them to you on camera. Just look at this thing. I mean, it's pretty stripped out, but thankfully, on the side of the car, they have the specs written for us. So, 170 cc's, 90 kilometers an hour. Now, this is actually surprising me. Uh, apparently, the speed limit in town is only 70, and these go 90. Not sure if we're gonna find anywhere to get to this speed. Uh, smiles 100% guaranteed. Now, I think on camera, the size of these isn't quite put into context. So, I'm gonna get inside to give you an idea. <laughs> of how hilarious these look. On top of this, we also have to wear helmets, which judging by these pictures are gonna make our heads look really big in a car that's really small. This is probably the closest you're gonna get outside of Japan to Mario Kart on the road. Let's hit it. Do I look as funny as you look? Oh yeah, probably funnier. <laughs> we look so, the scale of it is hilarious. Oh, dude. Okay, first checkpoint. Look at this thing. <laughs> you just stand in it like a little road boat. <laughs> Honestly? This is what cars are all about. Just pure fun. Pure, pure fun. Do you know what? When I started this channel, it was all about just how much fun can you have on four wheels. This brings this it back to the, just this purity. Might be the most fun. Right? It's just pure joy. Fun, dude. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Check out, we're just in time for the sunset. I'd only previously been to Budapest once, and I said I've I wanted to been. come back again. If we hadn't have done this, we, we wouldn't do, be able to think see about what we this out on. view. Check out the city from up here.
These have got what we're told is lawnmower engines. I presume, I presume sit on lawnmowers. Imagine if you put like a, a scooter engine in. Yep. A scooteria. <laughs> you know how fast it would I'll be? Challenge your but the front end on this is sharper than the 600 LT. It needs a dip. And a diff that, well, they, these don't have a diff, so really it should be sliding easy. We it just need way more power. power. Or, or worse tires. These are pretty bold. Although it's deceivingly warm out here. I reckon yes. tarmac temperature and those I reckon basically these are slicks. basically like slicks, yeah. Imagine when it rains. Game it, over. It pours. You would spiral down that bank that we just drove down, 360 tight. the whole you way. If you were doing, which I don't, that could be tight. <laughs> Are you a subscriber? Parker! This guy's a subscriber! Hey! How's it going, man? Pretty good way to get around town. You know, like better than walking, better than driving. Like small, park it anywhere. Inexpensive, so you're not too precious about it. Although I'm already falling in love. I know. I I'm more worried about this than most of us. I, I have. need to give mine a name. But it's a perfect town vehicle. Although the non-existent suspension could be an issue in the long run. Dude, I've never arrived anywhere in so much style. How you doing, so man? Cool. This is so cool. We shall debrief inside shortly. Dude, I was on, I was on my way from the airport. I literally saw a sign somewhere. I was like, I am booking one of these. Look at it. It's so good. <laughs> because let's face it, on this channel, we're used to turning up to hotels in cars like the 720 here. But honestly. I'm not sure I've ever turned up anywhere in so much style as this, the mini hot rod. I haven't smiled as much as this in quite a while. Just look at it. How can you not smile when you see that thing? Even when you're not driving it, it is out of this world. And the whole time Parker and I have just been smiling ear to ear. You pull up alongside each other, you are wetting yourselves laughing because you both look hilarious. But at the same time, they're so fun. and. I just found out that they do a night tour. I mean, this, is, this, this is not an ad. This is not a branded video at all. The story behind this, I saw an advert for this on my drive here. I said, I want to get in one of those cars before I leave. Here we are, smiles per gallon through the roof, but they do a night tour. Imagine this incredible city in the evening with all the lights going over the bridge and the shimmering water. Incredible. I want to say a massive thank you to these guys. Look, if you're ever in Budapest, take the time out of your day to do this because from a sightseeing point of view I saw more of the city than you would ever do. The, the tour guide is amazing, super pumped. Okay now we're back inside our incredible hotel. We can debrief in this amazing marble atrium. Uh, well, how was that man? That was one of the best things I've ever done. It literally yeah, though. Literally. I know it looks like a crazy gimmick but I had a smile what constantly. Gimmick? What yeah. gimmick? The gimmick of constant euphoria. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm, I'm gonna call it a day there. We now have to go and uh, change and look respectable because we have a McLaren dinner and then tomorrow I'm gonna be taking you guys on the McLaren 600 LT drive around the circuit. It is under embargo so you won't see it for a little while but be sure to subscribe and check it out because you do not wanna miss this one. As always guys, thanks for watching. I should see you next time. Ciao.